hello so now we'll be seeing what is the cross product or the vector product of two vectors okay we have already seen what is the dot product okay so similar to the dot product we have the cross product okay so there are two ways in which we multiply two vectors it's not like scalars like 3 into 2 is equal to 6 no there is a definite way we multiply vectors okay one is the dot product that we have seen and the other one is the cross product that we'll see now okay so as the name is the cross product or we also say it is vector product that means for dot product the other name was scalar product right so a dot b the dot product gave me the mod of a the mod of b and the cos of angle between the two vectors a and b okay so the dot product that product was a scalar quantity so it was just a number that's why the name was also scalar product also we say dot product is scalar product okay similarly here we have cross product or vector product that means the product that we are going to get is a vector quantity okay so <clears throat> For cross product, let's say there is a vector A, we denote this by this cross, A cross B, okay, is the cross product and let's say it will give me a vector C, okay. So, if C is a vector, it will be having some magnitude and some direction, okay. The magnitude of C is given by the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the sine of the angle in between a and b okay so the magnitude is a into b into sine theta where a and b are the so magnitude of a into magnitude of b into sine of the angle in between gives you the magnitude of the product of the cross product okay but it will also have some direction as it is also called vector product so how do we find the direction so we'll see with the help of this animation okay so these three axes are there okay three dimensional space has three axes x y and z okay fine now this is the x y plane okay x y plane and the z axis is perpendicular to the x y plane okay fine okay so a and b are two vectors in the x y plane okay a is also in the vector a is also in the x y plane and vector b is also in the x y plane okay and there is an angle they are at some angle theta okay so there is an angle theta between the two vectors a and b okay fine <clears throat> so like this if we you know make a parallel vector to a and then b we get a parallelogram okay parallelogram we get okay the area of that parallelogram is actually the magnitude of the cross product okay so this c this c the magnitude of the vector c Vector C is what? The cross product of A and B. This is equal to A, B sin theta. This is the area of that parallelogram. Okay. The parallelogram, that is the area. Okay. This area. This area is the magnitude of the cross product. Okay. Now we will talk about the direction of the vector C of the cross product. Okay. Fine. This is the magnitude of okay yes this is the direction of the cross product okay this is the direction of the cross product it is perpendicular to b and perpendicular to a as well okay so it is perpendicular to a also b also and hence it is perpendicular to that whole x y plane okay it is along the positive z axis okay oh, sorry it is along the positive 
z axis it is out of that xy plane perpendicular to that in fact okay fine Okay, so we have seen with the help of this small animation we have seen what is the direction. Okay, so to get the cross product, to get the direction. So in this case, in this case, we have the two vectors A and B in the XY plane. Okay, but it may not be the case always. Okay, of course, always the vector A should not be in the XY plane only. It can be in any direction, right? And also the vector B can be in any direction in the space. Okay. So for this example, we took it in the xy plane, but it can be in any direction. Okay, so we'll see the right hand thumb rule. Okay, the right hand thumb rule to get the direction of the cross product. Okay, let's say there is a vector a and the vector b. Okay. So the magnitude of this is going to be what we have seen this is equal to the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the sine of the angle in between. What about the direction? Okay. What about the direction? Okay. So for that what we do we use our right hand. Okay. So let's say this is vector a and this is vector b here okay and let's say they are in the same plane in the plane of the screen in the screen that plane of the screen vector a is also in that plane b is also in that plane okay right hand thumb rule if we have to use what we'll do we'll place these four fingers along so i have to find a cross b mind it a cross b is not the same as b cross a okay they are different we'll see how but the first vector is a a cross b so these four fingers will place along the vector a and then curl our fingers towards b okay place it along a curl the fingers okay so i'll just the four fingers you align along the first vector a and then curl it along the vector b so if you do that the thumb thumb will be pointing outwards okay towards out of the screen okay towards me or towards you you can say out of the screen in this direction so out of the screen i denote by this dot okay the direction out of the screen coming towards yourself is dot okay this is standard and into the screen is denoted by cross okay so the cross is inside the screen dot is out of the screen so a cross b will be out of the screen dot okay so this dot is the direction of a cross b and the magnitude is of course this thing okay so now we'll try to visualize this uh, left uh, right hand thumb rule to get the direction of the vector product okay so a is one vector b vector we are trying to get the cross product okay so let's say this is your a vector and this one is the b vector okay so it's need it need not that the vector should be in the xy plane only it can be in any direction any random direction okay just any random direction it can be in okay so, so let's say this is the this is not xy plane nothing random two vectors vector a vector b okay if I have to find A cross B, I will place these four fingers of my right hand along A, okay, and then sweep my fingers, curl my fingers towards B. So the thumb will be pointing in which direction? In this direction, right? So that is the direction. This, this is the direction in which the thumb will be pointing. Perpendicular to A, perpendicular to B, okay, like this. Perpendicular to this plane this plane okay these two vectors a and b 
they constitute a plane like this okay so the cross product the direction of the cross product will be perpendicular to that plane okay like this like this you just you know make it like this if this is the case so if let's say it's like in the vertical plane so a cross b is towards outside out of the screen dot okay uh, okay if it is like this then a cross b is into the page like this okay so this finding the direction is very useful in many chapters in rotational motion chapter in magnetic field many chapters okay you will find the use of the cross product and getting the direction of course okay and the magnitude of the cross product is a the magnitude of a into b into sin theta fine okay we have seen this now if the vectors are given in the cartesian form okay let's say the vectors given to me is let's say a is equal to 2i plus 3j plus k cap okay this is one vector and let's say another vector is <clears throat> anything let's say i plus j sorry let's say it is i plus j minus k let's say okay i cap plus j cap minus k cap so these are two vectors given in the cartesian form with the three components in the three directions like this okay so if i have to find the cross product a cross b a cross b if i have to find what should i do first of all what is i cross i okay what is i cross i what is the angle between i and i itself zero degree right so in magnitude it is equal to what magnitude of i is one into magnitude of this i is also one into sine of the angle in between that is sine of zero so this is zero so i cross i is zero similarly j cross j will also be zero k cross k will also be zero fine what is i cross j i cap cross j cap is equal to what what is the angle between i cap and j cap i cap is along x axis and j cap is along so the angle between them is 90 degrees so this is 1 into 1 into sin 90 that is 1 so in magnitude i cap cross j cap the magnitude of this is one of course but what is the direction okay again i cap this is your i cap x axis let's say this is the y axis okay x axis y axis i cap j cap i cross j is what k cap positive z axis right so the direction is k cap one dot k cap or simply k cap so i cross j is k okay so similarly uh, i j k okay if you write it like this i cross j is k j cross k is i k cross i is j circular it is and is a cross b the same as b cross a no okay so the cross product is not commutative a cross b is not equal to b cross a in magnitude they are equal why because a cross b the magnitude is the magnitude of a into the magnitude of b into the angle in between same will happen if you do the magnitude of this is what the magnitude of this is a into b into sin theta where a and b are the magnitudes of the vector a and b this also is what b into a into sine of the angle in between so magnitude wise they are the same but the direction wise they are not the same okay direction wise they are not the same the magnitude wise they can be same this is the magnitude of course okay so let's not write it okay fine magnitude wise they are the same but direction wise they are not same why because let's say this is a this is b a cross b is upwards but b cross a is what first l2 align along b b cross a is downwards okay so it's just the opposite of the direction of a cross b is just the opposite of the direction of b cross a okay so actually 
a cross b is equal to negative of b cross a so the cross product is not commutative not commutative okay so i cross i is zero we have seen i cross j is k cap so it is j cross i i cross j is k so j cross i is minus k okay i have told this circular form i cross j is k j cross k is i k cross i is j so if we go other way around so i cross k is what minus j k uh, sorry k cross j sorry k cross j is minus i and j cross i is minus k like this okay fine so we have seen this now coming back to the original question if these are the two vectors a and b how to get the cross product of these two given vectors okay fine so for that the best way to find the cross product is to solve the determinant okay so first i'll tell you how to expand a determinant okay determinant is so for this case where uh, we have you know three dimensional a is three dimensional vector right it has component along i and along j also along k also so this is three dimensional vector b also three dimensional vector having all the three components so this determinant will be three cross three type of determinant okay so how to expand a determinant first we'll see any general let's say a b c d e f g h i okay so this is the determinant any determinant okay it's not about any determinant having these nine elements this is three cross three three rows three column determinant how to get the value of this determinant how to expand we'll see just choose any row or column so usually the first row is cho chosen but any row or column you can choose so let's say i have chosen the first row okay this is the first row let's choose this one okay and then what you do just write a small plus minus plus alternative plus minus plus here along the row you are expanding this determinant so i have chosen the first row then i put a small plus this is just a way how we expand okay nothing uh, like to explain plus minus plus then the first element you take a okay that is plus so plus a or simply a you write here then what you'll do just hide the row and the column of a okay hide the row hide the column of a fine then whatever is remaining this into this into this minus this this into this okay so that is e into i minus h into f bracket close again next, let's move to the next one okay let's move to the next item that is this one okay we are expanding along the first row so the next is and there is a minus sign so i'll write here minus b bracket open again what you'll do just hide the row and column of b whatever is remaining what is remaining this d f g i is remaining so i into d i into d minus g into f g into f bracket close again same thing with the last element that is what c right so that is plus c so right here plus c bracket open again hide the row and column of c hide this and there was h here sorry so again whatever is remaining h into d minus g into e this is the expansion just expand this whatever is the value is the value of the determinant okay this is the value of the determinant for example i just quickly 
expand any random one i'll just take anything 1 2 3 3 1 4 anything 2 uh, 1 minus 1 let's say okay so what is the value of this determinant if i try to expand what i'll do along the first row so plus minus plus then first one is plus 1 so i'll write here plus 1 or simply bracket open no meaning of writing 1 Again, what is remaining? Hide this row, hide this column. So minus one into one minus this. So minus one times four into one this. Okay, like this. Again, this is done. Now the second one is minus two. So minus two I'll write here. Then again, what you do? Hide the row and column of. Hide the row and column of this two. What is remaining? Minus one into three and this. So this is minus three minus eight. Again, the third one is plus three. Plus three bracket open. Okay. Okay. Now again hide this. This. What is remaining? Three into one minus two into one. So three minus two. So this is the value. Now just get the value. So this is what minus five minus. This is minus eleven, so this is going to be plus twenty two, and this is one, so plus three only. So this is twenty five minus five, twenty. Okay, so twenty is the value of the determinant. Okay, I have expanded this, expanded this determinant. Give an example. Fine. So likewise, if you are given two vectors, how to get? Just take any any vector. Let's say is. Let's say any vector. I take two i plus j. Plus three k, let's say, and another vector b is, let's say, i plus two j and plus k, let's say. Okay. Now I have to find a cross b. What do I do? A cross b. Just write it like this in the determinant. Write i j k. Now the first vector is a, so two. The coefficient of j is one, three, one, two, one. Okay. So first vector, this is a vector's element, and this is b. Okay. Two, one, three for a vector, and this is b vector. One, two, one. Okay. Now just expand this determinant. Whatever you get is the cross product. You'll see how. So plus minus plus plus i. So that is I'll write plus i simply i. One into one minus three into two, so one minus six. Again, this is minus j. Second one, so minus j. Again, hide this row of j and column. What is left? Two into one and three into one. So this is two minus three, and then plus k, plus k. Okay, again. Uh, okay. This one hide the row and column of k. What is left? Two into two, and so four minus one. Okay, so this is minus five i, and this is plus j plus three k. This is the cross product of the two vectors, and this is a vector, right? This is a vector. A cross b. A was this. B was this. So this you got to be. The cross product of the two vectors a and b. What is b cross a? Just the negative of a cross b, right? So it will be five i minus j minus three k. This is the. So this is how we can find out the cross product of two vectors. Two vectors they are perpendicular. If they are perpendicular, the angle between them is ninety degrees. So the magnitude is simply the. So these things. Uh, okay, and if two vectors are in the same direction, if two vectors are in the same direction, the cross product is going to be zero because the angle between the two vectors is zero, right? So these are small small things that you should know. Fine. So the basic things that you should know about vectors, uh, this vector product is this we have discussed. Fine. So you should practice the determinant, opening of determinant. and that's it about the vector product okay thank you